I'm Dick Niffing. This is the Friday evening KRQE.com webcast. Here's Mark with weather. Well, we are going to be very active here over the next 24 to 48 hours storm-wise. What we've got is a lot of tropical moisture sitting, especially across the southeast, where right now we've had enough cloud cover so that mainly we're just getting kind of lighter rain showers. Well, we've had some sunshine. We've warmed up a bit, and that'll continue to produce thunderstorms, central and western sections, throughout the day on Saturday. Then as we head towards Sunday, Western half of the state, I think, is going to largely die down stormwise. Spot storms will be possible, but most of the action will stay in the eastern third of New Mexico as we head to the 4th of July. Albuquerque Mayor R.J. Berry, who cut firefighters' pay Thursday, did the same with police Friday and will be sued for both. Police will be cut almost 2.5%, and officers will not get a 4% pay raise that was supposed to kick in yesterday. Cops will also have to pay 3% more of their health insurance costs. All that will save the city $2 million. Firefighters will see similar cuts. Other employees are being cut, too, to help cover the city's $66 million deficit. The investigation continues into the Bernalillo County Community Corrections Program. Vincent Peel, the man who ran it, was arrested two weeks ago for allegedly taking bribes to get inmates into that jail release program. The sheriff's office told us Friday that it is close to completing its investigation, and so far, it appears that Peel was acting alone. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.